Bitcoin passes $7,000. The U.S. Senate applies pressure on Facebook about its own crypto project. Let's start the show. Welcome back to Crypto Global News. Many thanks for tuning into today's show. I'm Edward, and we really appreciate it if you like, share, and also subscribe. Enjoy today's episode. The Ethereum Foundation is planning to spend $30 million on different projects across the ecosystem over the next 12 months. In the course of the next year, the Foundation is going to allocate funds for improvement of Ethereum's performance and security, which includes working on the current proof-of-work algorithm of Ethereum and general core support and development, raising awareness about the altcoin by organizing hackathons, developing relations, and attracting new talent, among other issues. The CEO of crypto analytics firm Messari Ryan Selkis forecasted that Ethereum 2.0, the proof-of-stake transition, will not take place till 2021. Selkis forecasts that the proof-of-work algorithm will be the status quo for at least two to three years. Now, while Ethereum POS transition may take a lot longer than anyone appreciates, let's see how the story actually unfolds. The Committee on Banking, Housing, and Urban Affairs of the United States Senate is seeking information on Facebook's reported cryptocurrency project. Now, the committee addressed its concerns to Facebook founder and CEO Mark Zuckerberg in a letter. In a series of questions, the Senate highlights certain aspects of consumer protection, asking Zuckerberg about how the company plans to protect consumer financial information. The committee also asked Zuckerberg whether Facebook shares or sells consumer information with unaffiliated third parties. With Facebook having many issues with the U.S. legislative branch and also the public when it comes to customer privacy, will there be a lot of pushback and roadblocks when it comes to launching their own cryptocurrency project? William Shatner, the actor who has over 242 acting credits to his name, is moving into the world of cryptocurrency. He announced he's partnering with Matterum to launch an Ethereum-based system that authenticates and digitally transfers ownership of physical items, including collectibles. He had this to say, Today I'm announcing that I am partnering with Matterum and other technology creators to establish an authentication system. It establishes an irrefutable, internationally recognized proof of authenticity. I suppose it's only fitting that the original Captain Kirk is on the edge of technology in the blockchain space. Hey. Crypto securities company Curve has partnered with insurance company Munich Re to obtain $50 million in coverage. This new insurance is designed to cover any cases in which a bad actor was able to gain access to either Curve or customer shares, both of which would be needed in order to sign off on any illicit transaction. Now, as it stated in the press release, even in an extreme scenario where both network shares were somehow simultaneously compromised, were initiated outside of the corporate policy, Curve's insurance would kick in to cover the loss. With any and all commodities, there is a fear that you can lose your property. Let's see if moves like this by call wallet providers makes a huge difference in attracting new customers. Bitcoin in less than a week has gone from $6,000 up to $7,000 in value. Now that almost everyone sees the return of the bull run, many predictions from crypto insiders are coming forward. Billionaire venture capitalist Tim Draper in a recent interview with Fox Business said that in four years, something like Bitcoin could be worth about 5% market share of the entire planet. He pointed to Bitcoin's best features such as decentralization, transparency, and simply being a better currency than fiat. Draper was an early Bitcoin investor, having purchased 30 30,000 Bitcoin when the price was hovering at about $630 per coin. He points out that the investment's now worth 10 times that amount today, and he's got no doubt that it's going to go much higher. Now, obviously, no one really knows what the price of any commodity, whether it be Bitcoin, gold, or share of stock in IBM, will actually go. But if Bitcoin does go past the $19,800 market set in 2018, how will this affect all global markets moving forward? Many thanks for tuning into today's episode. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the show. For Crypto Global News, I'm Edward. Until next time, you take care.